Hello people and look, both are on iOS 6 and that's because they're dual booted, they're not actually on iOS 6. But if you go into here and look, boom, got 32 gigs allocated here and then like 5 gigs allocated on here. Because this is only a 16 gig model, lame. But yeah, of course if I want to reboot it into good old iOS 10.3.4 I've got to just slide to power off oh, I'm supposed to hold that yeah the power button's broken on here so I have to use assistive touch and then for the iPhone 5 I need to actually plug it in essentially well sticks you know it's just iOS 10 eventually this is taking nine years to shut off there it is and then we'll just do oh, I can disconnect it as soon as it turns on essentially I thought weird that this has got black um, boot screen whereas this if you ignore my horrible camera work has a white background inverted boot screen I guess it is a combination of these little devices you know and then um, this is what happens when you've come out of a jailbroken state it'll just take you to search screen search country or region and then you just got to wait for it it's a bit slow but then uh, also, it years is 24 hours. Boo. Rubbish. And 12 hours, I mean. God, I can't even say it. And then, oh, look, passcode thing again. Yeah, and then it complains about no sim, and then, you know, you've got jailbreak again using Helix. Unfortunately, socket doesn't work. And, um, for those unaware, Helix, um, it's broken, you have to use the patcher thing. Apparently it's got DRM, lame. Um, and it's not available on jailbreak store apps, so you have to patch it manually. Luckily there's like a script for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So it doesn't matter what you're running, it will still work. So, now it should be in a jailbroken state. And yes, it is. I don't know why, but my icons just won't stop going everywhere. But yeah. Yeah, if I want to go into... Oh, sorry about that. Then, you, if you were setting up for the first time, it'd be like, install. How much do you want to give? Do you want the base boot? Basically, a bunch of text of what's going on. It only applies when you're on the iOS 6. Um, I selected no. And yeah. Uh, I swear. Okay. So, basically, that's it. Well, I say that's it. If you want to install it, go into your thingy, add the source of coolbeta.com, and let me tap. And it'll be the, um, just coolbeta. If you're on like iOS 8, or some untethered jailbreak you can still untether her. However, last time I tried to use it, uh, it didn't go well, so I've never used it since. But yeah, you will still call beta if you're on iOS 7 or above. If you're on iOS 6 or 5, you can do CLI, then basically you've got SSH and do like um, call beta CLI dash B. Oh, well, you got to set it up first. I can't remember the exact command to set it up. And then, to go back to iOS... Um, God, this screen's a mess. To go back to iOS um, 6, you just hit boot. Or any version, really. doesn't matter what version. And then, you've also got to make sure your device is not plugged in. Otherwise, it won't work. So, and, you know, just lock it. And then, eventually, 
come on. There's the Eskimo thick Apple logos. This, is, when I tried it, it took me like two attempts to actually get working. You can't really see the Eskimo thick uh, Apple logo. There. Oh, that one's gone brighter. Beam. And boom, oh, iOS 6. I've not actually. Oh, um, there we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, I've not actually really done anything on here. Um, if you're on an iPad, you'll actually get the weather app. Although, you know, it won't work unless you use Weather X, which I've done on here, I believe. I don't really care too much about showing my location. Where's Weather? Unknown location. Supposedly it works. Oh, there you go. Boom. It works if you use WeatherX. Which for those unaware it is a tweak. You go into here, you add one PN onxmo.com slash dev. Wrong one. Um and then weather X. It's also a sixty four bit version for like Oh, a 7.0 for like the 5S, the air, whatever. But yeah, that's it pretty much. Goodbye, people.